I know money, money uh, Fatal, like no money matter what blends. cannot neglect Ghana. Mm, I think he's played for us before. Yeah, yeah, he's yes, 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 yes. Team, yes. yeah. So it means that he cannot play for any other country. Mm. It's not that our, our coaches cannot identify talent, they. but they want to use these talent as a means of making money. So they will, they will see a, a good talent, want to bring him to the team. The boy wants to play, mm. but they'll ask him to pay money before they will admit him to the team. If you look yeah, at Mbappé, yeah, yeah. if Mbappé was were to be in Cameroon, mm. by now but he has, like, they, they have sabotaged and even crippled him with injuries. To, yeah. <laughs> Juju, you would struggle in Ghana. Mm. Go outside, try as much as possible and succeed. And that is when they see that yeah. you have value. If, uh, if we have an academy that we are grooming players, you have stayed, I mean, studying the progress of that player mm. till he be, turns the 18 or turns the right eight to, to join play. the national mm, team. Mm. Then you realize that the players will be familiar. We're not saying that foreign players will not join no. But when you have a backlog of locally groomed players, they know themselves. Mm. Um, our very own Isaku Fatal, uh, a lad that started his football career from Tamale, and Tamale. He, has, he has been able to climb the ladder to a point where, you know, I mean, the world is getting to see mm. the talent he has. And for me, what, what is, what is uh, telling for me is the fact that um, he, he seems to be having the, the, like, the, 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 I don't know how to put it, but he seems to be having his best life ever, doing what he's doing. Mm. Because every now and then you see him dancing, you see mm. him like just mm. having a nice time. Fun. And it looks like he's, he's not even like serious about what... Because I remember yeah. some time ago, people started raising issues about his, he's like whether he's actually TikTok serious, uh -huh. <laughs> he's actually serious about his football career, yeah. but then he's always on TikTok, yeah. I mean, all of that and all of that. So I, 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 I just wanted us to, you know, look at he, 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 his, how, how he came up and how, where he has been, you know, able to get to as a way of, you know, inspiration to other young talents around or from here, from the northern, northern part of Ghana to see that as an inspiration to be able to climb, I mean, greater heights. I don't know what, what, whether Robbie Cohen is a football fan. Oh, no, no, I, I don't really do a you lot don't do more football, soccer. Yeah. Okay. I mean, All right. uh, but I, 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 I really, mm. I only watch mm. games of interest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, okay, but yeah. but uh, Fatal, mm. I mean, he's a Tamale boy, so mm. for that matter, yeah. uh, he has roots in Tamale. In Tamale yeah. And getting him to that level, I mean, mm. there's no way we can say that we are not mm. really excited mm. about mm. him. And he actually won, uh, I think, uh, the young, I think young, yeah. young player of the yes. of the, of the, yes, of for the, the season, season for, for the for yeah. the club, yeah. Yeah. Leicester. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think maybe he's on loan from Sporting Lisbon in Portugal. And and I think that looking at his age, I think he was born in yeah. I think he's, he's, he's twenty, yeah? nineteen or twenty. Yeah. I think he's twenty. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. With 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 that, you know, when Messi was uh, in his twenties yeah. and started, people said that they were one. They are wondering, by the time he gets, he gets to 24, cruise, 25, yeah, what he will do, what he will be doing. Yeah. And we've seen how yeah, consistent yeah. he has been yeah. over the period. And so, when you have a young talent, like, you see, Ghana, we kill a lot of talents. Talent, That's yeah. one problem. Yeah. Yeah. Look at what uh, this Kudus is doing. <laughs> amazing, fantastic amazing, work. Amazing. So, if you have somebody like uh, uh, Fatal who is coming this way. I only can pray that he should, he, his handlers will not allow this GFA to pull him down. To make bad mm. decisions, yeah. To, to, to just bring him and mess him up. Ghana, we are good at that. Yeah. We've had solid yeah. players. Yeah. And we've, and we've not up. been able to make use of them. Mm. He's doing well at his club. He comes home because of uh, football politics in Ghana. We destroy everything. The same thing we were complaining about Cameroon. How mm -hmm. they lost Mbappe. Mbappe mm. yeah. If you look yeah, at Mbappe, yeah, yeah. if Mbappe was were to be in Cameroon, mm. by now he has, like they, you, they have sabotaged have and even crippled him with injuries. Yeah. Juju <laughs> will bring him down. <laughs> 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 these are these are the kind of things <laughs> we expect. But you see the way France mm. today, mm. The, the guy says the father said that when they wanted to him to come and play for Cameroon, they, they were demanding bribe. Yeah, they demanded Seriously. bribe yeah. to get him there. Seriously. So yeah. it, that's how it is. Africa. I know money, money uh, Fatal, like no matter what, clear. cannot neglect Ghana. Mm, I think course, he's played for us before. Yeah, yeah, he's yes, 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 yes. Team, yeah. So it means that he cannot play for any other country. Mm. But mm. at least how to manage him yeah. as a country. It's Look, very today important, yeah. we have that means we have two solid people yeah. at the lead. Very promising. Kudus, they are all from the northern part. I wouldn't mm. say two solid. We have more. 
Yeah. But because they don't come into the limelight, mm. we don't mm. see mm. them. No, so I, I'm, I'm only I only made so that reference to the fact that they are with the team. Those we have, oh. they are in the team now. Mm. Mm. Okay. And if we give them a greater pairing mm. and support, mm. I'm telling you that they will perform magic. Yeah. Mm. Because Kudus is doing fantastic. Mm. I'm even told that uh, uh, this guy with uh, Arsenal is coming back. Uh, Party. Party, yeah, Thomas. He's, Party, he's, yeah. I mean, I think he's recovering from it. He's injury, recovered from yeah. his injury. I think he started playing for Arsenal. Uh-huh. He's also a great midfield, midfielder. Mm. Yeah. This guy is a, is a winger. Eh? Yeah, Fatal. Uh, Fat- uh, Fatal, Fatal is a winger. Is a winger. Mm. So I, I'm sure that he can do a great job mm. when it comes to mm. supporting the team. Dede and Co are fizzling out They're like fizzling that. Out, yeah. And mm. for that matter, we must look at how we are rolling out new talents. And you see one thing about our football. I believe that we lack a, 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 ten, a greater tenure system in a sense that how do we groom players? Look, our Black Star is only composed of players. They pick one from here. From pick yeah. one all over the place. Yeah. Chasing players left, uh-huh. right, center. So you get to understand that, no, they cannot, they cannot fit yeah, in well. They, can, they, can, they only yeah, they come to train yeah. for a week beer and go and for a go. match. Mm. But... If we have an academy that we are grooming players, you are stayed, I mean, studying the progress of that player mm. till he be, turns the 18 or turns the right age to, to join play. the national mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. Then you realize that the players will be familiar. We're not saying that foreign players will not join no. But when you have a backlog of locally groomed players, they know themselves. Mm. And even these players will eventually play abroad but then you yeah. still exactly. have that they still have they that still, yeah. they know themselves you know, rather than just calling Familiarity. people, pulling uh-huh. people left now somebody right. like you heard that oh someone is uh, uh, he's he, he's uh, a half Ghanaian the father is mm. from this yeah. place yeah. the mother they don't go there right? uh, yeah. <laughs> then and, and, I, that's and, all let's go and, and convince and bring him um, I I have one friend in western region mm. and his brother plays in I don't know whether he's Saudi or there's this mm. country he plays mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. the guy is doing so well and because his mother is Ghanaian, mm. his father is Ghanaian, you wouldn't hear of him. Yeah. But he's doing so well there. And to the extent that sometimes they come to Ghana to play matches, but mm. not really that mm. often. Mm. But if the mother or the father yeah, was, was like from abroad, uh-huh, that one, be, oh, you know they know it means he's called Enchi. I know okay. his, um, his, yeah, he's called Enchi. But name. I don't know his mm, full name. first name. Yeah. You, know, you know, we are scouting for players that. Plays at recognizable yeah, clubs. clubs yeah. mm-hmm. So especially even if you are, if you are just a bencher, Bench even player. bencher even mm-hmm. at a Premier League yeah. club, Aye, they'll they'll come challenge. They'll come let's bring him on and, board. Yeah. And that's what we've been and doing. And one one painful thing is that you will struggle in Ghana, mm-hmm. go outside, try as much as possible and succeed. And that is when they see that yeah. you have value yeah, yeah, yeah. before yeah. they will now bring come, you, come for you back to come and play this match or yeah. play this. But mm. it, it shouldn't be done. Sometimes yeah. you watch some local players and then you are like, this person has good, potential. Yeah. Mm. But mm. then, when is it that you want to see that potential? Is it when the person goes it's outside goes out and then before you now see that, oh, this person has value? And just as you mentioned earlier on, and most of these issues are shrouded with corruption and, and other stuff. Because it's not that our, our coaches cannot identify talent, they, but they want to use these talents as a means of making money. So they will, they will see a, a good talent, want to bring him to the team. The boy wants to play, mm. but they'll ask him to pay money before they'll admit him to the team. And Even the lower, the lower uh, uh, size, seven, under 17, under the coast under, the, level, under 19, under 20, and all of that. Mm. And you, you wonder why they'll go to, they'll pick players, they'll go to a tournament and they, they can't bring anything home. Because it's, it's full of, I mean, players that are... No, I mean, but, but, but the, the, the thing that is happening in Ghana, just like some of the mm. African countries, those managing football, they have interest. Yeah, that's some the of them too. are club owners who yeah. have groomed players. And you know, mm. in football, it's just like yeah. mm. you, st- you, you, you pick this player, maybe at the juvenile level, mm. you raise him to a level. Yeah. So mm. every state that he goes and makes get, money, you, get get some, you, you, yeah, have, you have a like share. Fatawas, uh, cuts, yeah. Yeah. So you mm. have a share. share of, yeah. So many of them, are they are pushing, they are pushing their, their own players, players yeah. into the teams. Yeah. So whatever they are realizing from uh, uh, the revenues they are generating yeah. through football, they are also beneficial. Yeah. So we realize that selfish individuals, mm. why is it that we, uh, most of our coaches do not perform well? Yeah. Because somebody has an interest. Mm. 
and is pushing the coach. Meanwhile, when the problem comes, they will sack the coach and the he's there. <laughs> yes, I think during the AFCON, that was yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah. At the comment session, you could... Read, oh, yeah. the only thing people were saying that please allow the coach, coach to, to do work. his work. Yeah. Allow the coach to work. Mm, mm. Um, I think one of the reasons why the women are doing so well is yeah. I think during the scouting, the coach, for instance, she even came to yeah, yeah, to, to, to here, and yeah. at the end of the day, they see the performances that she's doing they are very getting well. because she's doing very well. at the women's side, hardly would they even if they tell you to pay something, hardly would you see that influence on like the men's yeah. mm. football. I and think because there's, there's not so much the interest. Co- co- Concentration there's is not, not so there. much interest exactly. in women yeah. football. Let it exactly. start generating money from yes. yeah, some oil yeah. and <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and because that thing mm. is in there, the women are doing so well. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, you hardly hear people say or talk about it, mm. but the women mm. are doing, doing well. They are doing well. They're and doing to the extent that sometimes even when you go to football, yes. Yeah. When you go to the comment session, realize that please let's pick our women to yeah, play yeah, after. Yeah. Let's pick our women to go because they are doing well. Because yeah, that second yeah, hand isn't yeah. there to control mm, who mm, is doing this yeah. or who is doing that. Mm. And I think it's it's and the bond really the bond between the coach and the players is just, adds, it's just yes. amazing. It's just yes, amazing. Yes. Uh, what 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 do you see? What what is telling with regards to I mean what Fatao has been able to do or is doing? Um. Fatau, I encountered him once. It's been very long mm. at Nyangpala. That's um, the Utrecht Football okay. Academy mm. on the yeah. Nyangpala Road. Road okay. So I, I would say Fatau, be, like he, he had a humble beginning. So for him to get to this level, mm. I think it should serve as a motivation. Okay. Yes, for young people. Mm. Especially in Tamale yeah, here, because yeah. Um, yeah. it's as if like uh, we don't actually produce much of such people. Yeah, talent, yeah. Yes, so yeah. Uh, he should serve as a young people, uh, mm. young. Uh, this, he should serve as an uh, inspiration to young, young people, people. Mm. and also the fact that he just enjoys doing what he's, what doing. he's doing. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. it makes it flawless. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. seem like it's it's, it's even working. work for yeah. him. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I think um, people should also tap into that. Mm. Uh, you know, if you actually love or enjoy what you mm. are doing, eventually mm. it's, it's, it doesn't become like a as if it's work yeah, yes, or yeah, job for yeah, you. So yeah, yeah. I think um, that is what I have um, gotten See, from mm, him. Mm, mm, yes, the take-home lesson yeah. I've gotten from yeah, and him. I, and I think, yes, just as a, I think it was you, it, it's, it's, not, it's not as though like he, that, is, that is the only talent around. Mm, mm. There are lots of, I mean, football talent mm. and all of that. But I think he being able to go up there alongside other, you know, um, um, talents from here would actually inspire a lot of young, you know, because Tamale like is more like a football like community. And yeah. also every corner, sports. like people are, yes. you know, people sports. are playing. And you know the corruption you, know. you just uh, mentioned mm. about the football system mm. is now deterring many parents young, yeah. to even. Mm. Um, um, chase their kids away Chase. from mm. that profession mm. because you have parents who are at loggerheads with their kids because they want to become footballers or they want to yeah. go down that yeah. path. Mm. And they are also right in a way because at the end of the day, if you actually go there, mm. you, you play very well. You are now matured enough yeah. to play in this um, mm-hmm. certain division mm. or this team. But still, you c- you won't be able to get such a platform. Yeah, yeah. So where, where at the end of the day, where and are I don't you going have money to, to pay. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. So because of that corruption, now parents are even deterring their kids from away from that. So and even the the children, the the, the players themselves are, mm. are beginning to advise themselves. Because I, I I know a lot of young players who mm. are very good, but and ended up not getting anywhere. So I'm so thinking. So when when other young players see that, mm, mm. they start to focus on other things. And mm-hmm. some of them even, because there are some who actually focus their whole life with, like on football. Mm, yeah. So when it gets to that point, some of them, you see, like some of them get messed up. They get into drugs and other stuff and, you know. This, so I think you know, um, this organization, Hoping Academy, mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. have something called Plan B. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where they tend to, I don't know the details, but mm-hmm. I think what they try to do is, yeah. they try to get the players to learn. Okay. Other mm-hmm, mm-hmm. work as work, well. Work so as that well. Mm-hmm. Okay. even if you're unable to succeed, in, but you can, yeah. In their football career, mm. you can be able to. Mm. So one of, as you said, one of the take homes is that mm. right now, if Fatah is not able to play again, what can he do? Probably mm. could be a dance professional mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. because yeah. you already. He'll be a content and, creator. <laughs> yes, yes, because he's already yeah, doing, doing well, well on TikTok, yeah, yeah, yeah. and mm. TikTok also fetches money. Mm-hmm. So it's not all about just. And funny enough, too, there are now Ghanaian parents who now take. Yeah. 
their mm. kids outside to yeah, football to, academies to play, yeah. mm, mm, so that mm. they could also play there mm. and when they get a chance to play there they continue yeah. and when they get a chance to come back and play too fine mm. because they've realized that not only sports but then football mm. especially yeah. gives you some kind of income mm. that at the end because um fatawas um the one who picked fatao mm-hmm. up for instance at mm. alent was even the one paying his school fees yeah. mm, so. doing everything for him for and his him. father was not mm. um the one doing that and you could imagine what he will be benefiting from yeah. now yeah. unlike mm. um the others who would want no i just want quick money fast 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 and mm. all of that but that patience Yeah, he was to able to him, uh-huh, yeah. to groom him to yeah. this stage. And, and I think all of those people have to be applauded because just yeah. as we are saying, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not that we don't have the talent, but then that, that system to be able to groom you to, to make sure stage. you get to you know, where mm. you'll be profitable is actually the bigger challenge. So yeah. I think it's, it's, it's actually, we should actually applaud all of them and mm. you know, because it, it doesn't take only talent. It yeah. takes, I mean, a whole lot of um systems to be able to make a player and also the foundation those mm-hmm. that help yeah, from the beginning yeah, yeah right now you might not see mm-hmm. those that mm-hmm. you know yeah, connected started, yeah, the dots yeah. for him yeah. to be able to get, to get there you yeah. only see fatal is this yeah. but mm-hmm. a lot has gone through, on before yeah uh-huh, before the, getting to yeah, that yeah. to that and I, i mean I, after I, i've actually seen a lot of you know big players come back to where they've come from to just yeah. i mean support people who were able to you know help them help from them. the beginning and exactly. all of that so i think mm. that's something he shouldn't forget as a player mm. he should mm. but then for me what i think um is amazing or amazes me about fatau is the fact that um like he in as much as people are talking about how you know how much he engages on tiktok mm. and other mm. social platforms he he still focuses Yeah. You know, he's able to focus on the game and still yeah. have fun at the same time. Yeah. I mean, that is that is something, you know, because if you if you if you are around football players, you know their life is very, their lives are very very, very boring. Stressful. So yeah. if you don't find a way to um be able take to care take care of that boredom. exactly, it will even give you depression and all of that. Mm. And I think it, it when he went to uh, uh, Leicester, one of the people who were able to um give him that environment mm. was Uh, a Nigerian player who is also yeah. in, the, in, in, yeah. the, in the team, yeah. Kalechi. Yes. And I mean, I, it, it, it got me thinking that we have actually, or they have actually taken the Nigerian Ghana brotherhood to another level. Yeah. Because mm. wherever you go, wherever Fatal mm. goes, mm. this guy is there giving him support. I mean, mm. driving him from training to the house. And, and when you go to his TikTok yeah, account, there are yeah, a lot of Nigerians around, you know, they're watching, he, he watching well. and all of that. So yeah. I think that is what it should be. It shouldn't just be about fights, fights, mm. I mean, left, right, center. Mm. We are brothers. When we find ourselves in a place, we yeah. should be able to support each, each other, other to grow. And trust yeah. me, I think that is what one of the key things that has been able to help him thrive as a player in Leicester City because yeah. when you have that you know like f- feeling of being at home, at home. You, you are able to do do give out your best mm-hmm. and all of that so i mean big shout out to Kalechi and Didi and all of the guys who are there supporting Fatao and giving him you know the grooming he, he i mean he's still a young star mm-hmm. and he needs experienced hands like those to be able to i mean let, help him pull through to, with his okay. career to get to where he wants to get to so Fatao keep doing what you are doing we are solidly behind you we are supporting you and all of that